Hello, I'm Dr. Emer Brannigan. Hand hygiene is vital for staff, patients and visitors in health and social care settings, but it's also essential in our everyday lives. My colleague Professor Martin Cormican will now demonstrate the importance of using the correct technique when washing your hands. Because we can't treat superbugs, preventative measures are essential. And while it may seem obvious, hand washing remains the single most effective way to prevent the spread of infection. So what are we going to do? So here's a big plate. It's got stuff kind of like jelly on it that we call agar. And you can put your hand right, and it's sterile, so you can put your hand right into the middle of this. And then we can come back later and we can see what bacteria have grown. Yeah. So we're doing it before and after? Yeah, if you put your hands on now and then we'll see what grows from it, you can wash your hands and do it again. It's a bit slimy. Okay, so I can see my handprint is there. Yeah. Go forth and multiply bacteria. That's right. After washing my hands the way I would normally, Martin gets me to put them on a second agar plate. And then finally, using a technique similar to the way surgeons scrub in, Martin shows me how we should all be washing our hands. And get the palm in your hand, the palm in your hand, and now we get your wrist. It's like the Macarena. Yeah. yeah. And then and we turn off with elbows, not with hands, so that you don't recontaminate your hands. Okay. So these should be pristine hands now, Martin? Yes. Now I've tried my best to wash all the bacteria off my hands, it's time to compare the three plates. First up, it's my unwashed hands. Okay. And what you can see here is that there's lots of bacteria growing, and you can see where your fingertips went down. Yeah. There's lots of bacteria in the fingertips. So no that's surprise your there, hand. I suppose. No surprise there. These are the kind of bacteria that we normally expect to find in somebody's hands. All okay. right. So what do you expect to find when you look at the plate where, uh, where you washed your hands in the regular way? Uh, well, I would imagine it. Uh, um, oh. Not much difference. I was going to say, I imagine, you know, maybe a, a, a fifth or... But actually, that looks like almost exactly the same amount of bacteria as if I had not washed my hands. Yeah. And it is almost exactly the same. So these are the places that you miss when you do your hands. So the way people mostly do their hands, then they miss, they miss key parts of the hand. And then, what do you expect to see when you look at the one where you did it by the book? Um, well, not complete. Oh, I know it is. Yeah, wow, so that pretty is... much nothing on it. There doesn't seem to be any colonies okay. there. So it's not a perfect procedure, but generally speaking, if you do it by the book, there'll be very, very little left afterwards. I'll be drumming this into my kids now when I go home. Very good. Washing our hands more thoroughly is an easy way to help reduce the spread of antibiotic resistance, but we need to improve our hygiene habits and tackle our overuse of antibiotics now.